Bueno, me dice que estamos prontos. I'm told we are ready to start. So, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here. The first thing I want to do is to thank GenXus for this opportunity. They give me once more to tell you something about us in this uh, meeting. Thank you, Nicolás. And today I have the big room. The other thing is that uh, I had an interview in the radio, and uh, for me, it's a pleasure to take the floor after Jose Gastornik. Cacho, as I know him, was an industrial engineer, and I was an accountant, and uh, we started working in IT together. We were hired by IBM at the same time. They hadn't hired anyone for a long time. We went to Buenos Aires to study, and Cacho had been calculating structures that did not require columns and had uh, studied a master's degree in Israel. In Israel, And uh, I had been working for a bank on accounting statements, and uh, many years later, both of us are working here together, building, which is the main idea of this event. Ahisik has done something very impressive. It has positioned us in a very important place in the world, that is to say, digital government. I am extremely happy that that is the case. While I was listening to him, I realized that sometimes I I'm very happy to receive something from the digital government, such as, for example, a refund from the health, uh, public health service, and hopefully I'll have more refunds in the future. But anyway, I'm happy to deal with the e-government. And I'm going to tell you about something that Ahasik did not do, and it's about establishing a foundation for a large bank, the Bank of the Republic of Uruguay that most of you know. In order to prepare the bank for the future world and uh, the digital transformation. And I'm going to tell you a story for this purpose, and I'm going to apologize in advance because I'm going to read some things, things I don't want to say because they are written in such a way that uh, they are more eloquent than I could be. So I'm going to tell you the chronicle of some events. So. Going to the beginning, the builders were building the country, our homeland, approved a constitution, and a few years later, at the end of the 19th century, they realized that the country needed a big national bank, a bank to support the development of the country and its production. This happened in 1896, and if it had been in modern times, there would have been a consultancy firm that would have written the bank's vision and mission. But I believe that all this is very well said by Federico Yea, the Minister of Finance of the time, who in the first meeting of the board of directors on August 24, 1896, said the following. The action of the Bank of the Republic will be powerful, large, vast, useful, fruitful, because it's an effort that uses our wealth and will be regulated, uh, will be regulating the credit without ups and downs and will help production and work. So this is the vision and the mission. Customer satisfaction is nowhere, but there are other words that may be much nicer than the ones we hear or see today. And uh, he was at uh, the forefront of some ideas because he said that there wouldn't be any interruptions 
or any whims in the, uh, in the bank's manifestations. And he said so in 1896 at the Bank of the Republic. The bank opened its doors a few months later, and this is the chronicle of the main points that I extracted from the bank's web page. I made a summary, and these are the milestones. It opened on October 22, 1896, there were 54 people working in the bank. The first deposit was received at the bank by the President of the Republic, since the bank is uh, the safekeeper of the people's money. And it was Luis de Arte Borda, the president of the time, in a country that uh, had a lot of conflicts. The bank could also issue money and uh, banknotes were uh, launched and issued and they were very quickly absorbed by the market. In uh, three in the afternoon, the bank closed its doors. It was located at the moment, not exactly where it is now, but in another building close by. And the Chronicle in the bank's web page said that the press thought that the establishment of the bank was a big event for the economic and social future of the country and that it reflected the trust of the public vis-a-vis -vis the bank from the beginning. The bank did very well and in the 20th century, 1910 actually, people came up with the idea that the bank should have a big building for its operations. I was unable to find the exact date, but in this place where we can see the bank's main building nowadays, the Bank of the Republic was built, and this is the foundation stone. It's not very far from here. It's one of the most beautiful buildings in the city, so I encourage you to visit it if you can. This building was opened in 1938, a few years later. And the bank, therefore, that was born with a big vision, a great vision, explained in the words of uh, Minister Videlia, acquired its uh, building, at the same time developing a network of branches. So this happened in the 20th century until the Chronicle comes to the point in which it involves us, the digital foundations of the bank. The bank had some technology, but decided to improve it and one day I received this invitation. After a long process, there was a tender, there were negotiations and contracts, and the bank invited us to launch a project where there were three parties, the bank that was contracting us, and then IBM and another enterprise who would be the other two parties in order to analyze the functions, do the testing, and complete the other tasks in the project of digitalization. It was 3 p.m. and we were in one of the bank's branches that has a very nice uh, hall for ceremonies. And we needed to sign many papers because it was a very complex transaction. Many lawyers were involved too 
and we started signing early in the morning. This is our president, Mariana La Robla, and our legal advisor, Cecilia Hector Sofia. From the Sanguinetti legal firm, and look at all the pages that we had to sign. I think that Mariano had to twist his wrist afterwards because he was in pain after so much signing. At 3 p.m., the ceremony took place, and here you see it. My friend Gonzalo Aspitarte, who was the general manager, became the president of the bank, and he was the one who pushed through part of the project. Then Mr. Caloya was also in the project, and Daniel Garcia Pino was the main uh, was the the main uh, encourager of this uh, project. And I'm glad that he's here today with us. So the project was very very complex and would take many years. But I thought that it was a big achievement for us because we were a company that was dedicated to bank software. And uh, it was like uh, winning a World Cup at the National Stadium. So it was a very emotional moment for us. We asked our people, especially those who were outside Uruguay, to celebrate. And here you see a photo of uh, people who were celebrating in our offices abroad, uh, eating pizza. Rodrigo here is smiling. And this photo is from 2014. Here we see our colleagues in Chile, in Panama. And uh, this is proof that the photo is uh, f from 2014. It says uh, something about the World Cup in 2014 that was played in 2014. And we still have these colleagues in Panama, but uh, others have joined us. And this is our one of our centers in Uruguay. Our colleagues in the city of Gichon celebrated too. And we were launching our development center in Arequipa, in Peru. There were not many colleagues there. And there was a Uruguayan who was amongst them. And this was the celebration. It had to be done Uruguayan style of a barbecue with a barbecue. So th that's how they celebrated in April that year. But after the celebrations, we had, we had to start working. And what I'm going to say here is something I already said in 2014 in an event of Genexus Consulting. This is a note that Mariano sent to the whole company in order to prepare us for this project. And I read, this is an internal email sent on May 29, 2014, which reads, we will have fulfilled our task, our task when the bank's users use Bantotal well in a fluent manner since they are those who pay our salaries. Many times I've had the temptation of saying, I'll just do my job. But just in case, I'll tell you that it's not enough. There's nothing sim that amounts to individual salvation. This has to be done by everyone, the people of the bank that bought it, the bank team, the IBM team, we who are working in the project, we who are at the LATU new from Gichon and Arequipa. We all save together or no one will. So with this email, we launched the project. And to sum up the project, I'll just say two words. 
work working hard. And there were many companies involved, the people from GeneXus, the people from GeneXus Consulting, CPA, CMI Intercer. We had other collaborators, as you see, and many companies and a long time. The turning point came after 64 months of work. The project was done in phases, in stages, and there were three moments in production. 600 interfaces were made with external systems or systems that the bank already had when two systems operated together to keep the bank functioning. And at a certain point, there were 23 environments where things were tested, which was required to administrate this project, which was so complex. Now, how many functional points the system had? Register clients or eliminate clients from the list? Well, I don't know how many of these proceedings we had to carry out, but there were several functional points in this application that are supporting the day-to-day -day activities of the bank, much more than ASHESIC, I would say. And there were many people involved. On our side, in particular, at a certain point, there were 155 persons working. Uh, working. I mean, all these companies that are on the screen. And at a some point, at some point, in some specific moments, when we launched the operations of the branches from the bank, more people were working with us. In La Robles and Associates, we are 300, and at a certain point, we are all work. We are all working in the bank, so it was a lot of work. And finally, the Ban Total project was launched in full in its last, last stage. And I'll show you uh, the final chronicle of the bank. Or the chronicle should say that all this happened on July 15, 2019. The bank was working day and night, but at a certain point, things changed. And in the system, we had 3,845 3, registered users. People will say, well, it was the number of civil servants and group, but in 100 years, it's not so much. The president of the bank had opened one account, but now we have two and a half million deposit accounts. There are people who have dollars accounts, other pesos accounts, there are legal entities, but anyway, there are two and a half million accounts that are managed by the system. We all know that at 5 p.m. the bank closes, which was the case in that day, but anyway, through its channels, the Ibro or the mobile application continues to take care of its customers. Also, there are cash points, and therefore it's possible to make transactions 24-7. This is what happened, and neither the press nor the social networks said anything. In this case, they said nothing. But I'm going to make a personal comment, totally personal. The press should have said that it was a big event for the social and economic future of the country and reflected the public's trust when this system was launched. So everything went well. And you may remember that last year I told you about some inconveniences that happen when you are launching a system. But 
in this case, the project was completed and most people didn't even hear about the difficulties we had had. So the foundations of the system reflect in some manner this statement of from Federico Villela during the first meeting of the Board of Directors without any interruption, without whims and helping production and work. It has almost two million customers. There are individuals, residents, non-residents, there are legal entities, and there's probably no other place in the world where there are so many accounts like this one among the population. So there are term deposits, as you see, and loans, as well as side deposits, which are almost two and a half million. In the press, someone from the bank said recently that many deposits increased while the project was being prepared because of the financial inclusion law. While we were working on the process, a lot of accounts were added. But every day in the bank, more than one million transactions are made. We transfer in order to pay our accounts. Also, the there is an interbank payment system that make 18,000 transfers every day. There are 17,000 checks that come and go, payments in with credit card 135,000, movements in the point of sale, for example, a restaurant with a debit cards, more than half a million in the internet, 3,400,000 queries or transactions, and we pay 400,000 payments to retirees and 800,000 salaries. So we are constantly helping production and labor in so many ways. The Bank of the Republic is known as the bank for the country, the country bank. There are many competitors that may not be happy about it, but we are the ones, the first ones that opened this country bank. Miren, para terminar, les voy a dejar este. So, to sum up, I'll leave you with two sentences by Mariano. He wrote them not long ago, and uh, I told him that I would talk a lot about him. The first one regards how we at La Robla firm feel after this project. The communication was pub published in Ban Total News, which is one magazine, one of our magazine, and uh, Mariano said that we are prophets in our own land. He said there's still some work to do, there may still be uh, some difficulties, but we are still checking and stabilizing things. We are on the right track, but it's difficult to be recognized in the place uh, you are from. We were fortunate to be selected by the bank as, your, as its provider, and thank you, Daniel, for this. And I'm sure that we have honored the trust you have distinguished us with. Right now, I could say we were all saved based on what was said five years ago. I think that we were all saved. That is my first conclusion. But 
it was also said that there's no individual salvation. There is the salvation of all of us. And how did we create this salvation for all of us? It's something that Mariano wrote to, and he said, this was a communique of August 29, 2019. He said that the project had not been completed yet, it wasn't the stabilization phase, but he says that the work that is well understood and considered at the right level, at the right level end up being a relationship with life, with the universe, this intimate relationship with life to work and live with dignity no matter the work, the work each one has done, to be a neurosurgeon or whether you clean uh, toilets, it's, it goes beyond our need to earn money to pay our accounts, to work in a nice environment, to study a career. I refer, or I mean doing well, impeccably, what one has to do. It's like the Cathedral of Notre Dame. The images that were sculpted were not visible by men because they were not destined to men, they were destined to God. And we are where we are because of the people who have worked with dignity and with a lot of stamina, and to them my thanks and respect. So to all of these people, our staff who worked a lot and the people at the bank who also worked a lot, the board of directors, the people who work in the branches, the project group, well, chapeau. They are civil servants and to the people at IBM, thank you very much.